Hi guys, Victoria here again. Okay, I did it. I fused all my silks onto that um, flimsy interfacing from the other day and it worked out beautifully. And right at the moment, I'm just finishing up, trimming up a few of these blocks. And then I'm gonna start sticking them up on my wall and I thought it might be fun for you to just to see what they look like as a whole before I decide what I'm gonna do with them afterwards. So, you know, first thing, I did actually put a new rotary cutter blade in my, in my rotary cutter. It's a very smart thing to do. It does actually work, however. It shouldn't take me so long to change the blades. I don't know why I, I wrestle with them all the time, but like I said the last time, I know I'm not the only one who doesn't change your blades regularly. So let me just finish trimming this little guy up. Trying to keep him square. Now I'll plaster them up there so you can see them on my wall. I have a couple more to trim out, but I can leave those for now. So let's see what they look like. Because of the fusing on the back, they don't really stick easily on my design wall like regular cotton ones do. So I have to actually pin these up, which is kind of a commitment if I, <laughs> if I don't have time to finish this quilt. It's going to be a pain in the butt having to take them down and put them up and take them down. Now I can't even get them to stick on that wall. Come on. There we go. But, well, that's all right. And the way it's going to get done, right? You hear that tinkling in the background? It's the snow is now turned to sleet. So winter, I guess, has finally gotten here. But hopefully it doesn't stick around too long. I can do without the snow. Look at this. Isn't this great? I love this piece. Isn't it pretty? So these are just the panels. Um, I don't know that I'm going to actually cut these up because I think you're going to lose a lot of how pretty they are once if they come any smaller. I don't know. What do you guys think? I should just leave them, don't you think? And then I also have to stick up the blocks that have already pieced together. I'm going to grab a couple of those too. Those all sit over here. These will stick a bit nicer to the wall. The Dupionis have a nice thicker texture that grabs to the wall a bit better. I don't know, I'm just randomly sticking them up there. I think that's the best way to look at them is if you just get them up on the wall so you can see them, see what you got before you start playing with them. That one's really starting to ravel with on me a little bit, but you know, you have to realize they have been hanging and falling down off my wall for the past year and a half. So, you know, there'll be some little trimming I have to do. But I don't mind that. Since I don't know how they're going to live together anyway, I'm probably going to have to add or you know, splice in pieces so that it all fits together um, using some split seams. Anyway, what do you think? You see how fast it grows? It starts to look really cool, doesn't it? Ooh, here's a hot pink one. Love this one. I'm going to change that and stick that in there. This up there. That's actually cotton. That's not even silk, but I had those pieces here and I thought, why not? Look at this. I love this piece. Check this out. 
Isn't that gorgeous? Woo. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. That one needs to be front and center, definitely. What else have I got here? So you can see some where the batting is going to stick through, and those are spaces that I'm going to have to go back and, and make some decisions about what's going to live in that space. I love this too. The color in that's fabulous. I can see putting just a tiny bit more green. Can you see this green in here? You can't even see it on there. This one has a big old green dot that, if you see it on the wall here, it just sort of jumps out. So I'm thinking just a few touches of that green are just what I need for this whole quilt to come together. I like them all scattered around. I don't like, I'm gonna mix them up a little bit more of these pieces in there, change the direction, make things go this way and that way. Whee! Where's my pins? Here they are. Anyway, this, I don't think I want to turn this piece because it's like mountains and trees, so I kind of want to leave it going in that vertical direction. I don't know, there's a good start. How's it look? Is it looking good? This one's really sweet. I love this kind of silvery brown weird color. Stick that over here. So that's kind of how I build these quilts. And then you gotta stand back and you gotta look at it. Take a few minutes, look and see what it is you're putting up there. See how it's how the weight of the quilt is looking. This heavy purple piece over on the side, I'm feeling like it needs to be over on this side. And I think I'm going to move it over there just to see what happens. This huge piece of purple does the same thing as this tiny little piece of solid red. And if I move this, that red is so bright, it, it can handle just being on its own over here. And I could put something else in there instead. Like maybe something else with a little bit of red. Change that around. Maybe move this over here. And we walk back again and take a look at it. And I just kind of keep going and building on it that way until I feel like I have it so it feels comfortable. And that's part of following your intuition. You know, looking at it, trusting that what you see looks good to you. Um, and uh, now I'm kind of excited. So I think it's going to be a short post today. I kind of want to just get the rest of these pieces up on the wall, and maybe the next time you see it, I'll have some of it sewn together. All right? So go play. I think you guys have some sewing you need to do. Bye.